Hi guys, Iron Cameraman here. Just recently, Russian official YouTuber got exclusive information from Boom about part two of 72 episode. The most interesting thing is that this time, Dafuk Boom didn't answer any questions, but just gave three interesting facts about the next part. And I, having learned about it, decided to write to this Russian YouTuber personally to get one more additional secret information. And you know what? He agreed. So at the end of the video, I will show his appeal with additional information. And before that, you will also find out if the Titans will appear in front of G-Man and Astro after all. And of course, I'll tell you what new powerful character will be in this two-part 72 episode. So be sure to like and watch the video to the end, because it's going to be very hot today. Anyways. Here we go. Let's start right away with the most interesting and unexpected fact. It turns out that the Titans will appear in this battle. Because Boom sent a message like this, the Titans will have a presence there. By the way, I would like to draw your attention to the fact that I checked all the answers personally with Razorplay, so that I would not make a mistake in the translation of words because the original text was in Russian. From this answer, we can conclude that the previous answer of Dafuk Boom, where he said that the Titans will appear only in 73 episodes, is not true. But there is one catch, because he did not deliberately deceived us then, and now just moved a little bit of scenes. So the Titans will appear only at the very end of the episode, I think. And they will be added rather for the viewers to wait even more for the next 73 episode. And this hunch is confirmed by one more detail. According to Dafuk in the Sausen part of 72 episode, we will see a new powerful character. And agree, for an episode that didn't seem to be initially too global and a pick, just the presence of a new character already puts it in line with other cool series. So the triple battle of the Titans, Astro, and G-Man with the new most powerful character can be expected in 73 and 74 episodes. But that doesn't mean there won't be epic moments in part two of episode 72, it's just that we'll only see the beginning of this legendary confrontation there. And here's what's interesting. He indicated that this part will last three minutes, which is not a little, considering how many big characters are present in it, and about the new strong character I'm not talking at all. Speaking of that character, who is he? Dafuk Boom just said that there will be a strong character but didn't say what race he is or what his tasks are. So this answer will be handled by me, and I will now tell you who this mysterious new character is. As far as I'm concerned, the answer here lies on the surface. Remember that I still, in yesterday's video, where I analyzed the first spoiler, said that it is unlikely to repeat the events of the 60 episode because the scientist is already dead and there are no other strong skibidi toilets to be strong enough to stop Astro Toilet. Now, since this is already a confirmed fact, it is likely that this new character is another surprise from the skibidi toilets. Remember that G-Man has a plan, and also that he's had many conversations with his team back in the lab. And to top it off, G-Man didn't run away from the battlefield as soon as he saw Toilet Astro. That already tells us that he has some protection behind him and assurances that he will be rescued at the last second. Yesterday I forgot to mention to you a cool spoiler detail. Notice that at the bottom of the photo, you can see a part from a rocket that flies straight at the Astro Toilet. If you look closely, it's very similar in shape and appearance to this rocket from episode 71, which was fired by one of the Skibidi Scouts. However, it's small in size, so it might just be one of the SWAT Skibidi mutants trying to interfere with the Astro Toilet. But that's not really that important. After all, it's most likely a troll spoiler, and it's made for the purpose of informing the plot rather than showing a believable shot. Given that a powerful new character is set to appear, we can assume that this character will be the one to take a last second shot at Astro Toilet and thwart him. I want to share another cool detail that almost no one noticed at all. It's about a mysterious character from episode 72. If you rewind the episode to 1 minute 47 seconds and zoom in on this shot right here, you can spot a cameraman in a black suit. 
We know that Defouk Boom doesn't just add details like that, especially in such a hidden way where he's barely visible. That's why I'm afraid to assume that it's one of the secret agent's assistants, who is watching the battle and in case of anything will probably get into the head of the scientist's cameraman, who is recording the whole battle. But if it turns out that this new character is not Skibidi Toilet, but Astro Toilet, then here the events of the episode will be even more interesting. After all, in the case of such a plot twist, G-Man will 100% not be given any chance of survival, and this is definitely not in favor of the series. After all, we know that it is unlikely that Boom will decide to kill another powerful and popular villain two episodes after killing the scientist. So if the Titans don't make it to the battlefield in time, then we should expect this new character to be aiding G-Man, not the other way around. While I was writing the script, I noticed another message from Dafuk Boom, but this time he didn't give any details at all and only said in one sentence, y'all ain't ready. A lot of times when he's so intrigued before an episode comes out and throws phrases like that, something very global usually happens that changes the entire course of the series completely. So this phrase could be about a powerful new character or it could be about some event in general. And it's almost impossible to say for sure what it is. However, I'm guessing that it's not another appearance for fun, as it was with the big DJ Skibidi in episode 70, and it's not another character he'll add for the sake of a reference. Since we're not ready for that, it means that this character will have a huge impact on the story and will be one of the main characters in the future. And it will be very funny if it turns out that he had it in the form of Skibidi Cat all along, and that spoiler with the last few answers was just one big trolling. Anyway, I don't know about you, but I'm even more eager after all this news to watch this two-part 72 episode as soon as possible, finally. We've discussed all three exclusive details of part two of episode 72 and more, but one open question remains, how to be the first to know about these exclusive leaks first? The answer, of course, is very simple. Subscribe to YouTubers, which periodically receives them. But there is one problem, more and more often Boom began to give leaks not only English channels but also Russian, and even if you subscribe to all Russian channels, you are unlikely to understand anything. And I found a very cool and honest solution. Remember I said that I was able to contact the YouTuber who got this exclusive information? Well, here's his message he sent me. Hi, Iron Cameraman subscribers. Yes, I was given an exclusive and it's strange that none of the YouTubers said about my English anal. So if anything, here's my English channel where you can be the first to know if there will be more exclusives. As you can see from these words, it turns out that he has his own English channel where he translates his own Russian videos using AI voice. And he promised that the next time he gets an exclusive, he will publish the English video at the same time as the Russian video. What's also very cool, let me remind you that I get information from Dafuk Boom myself sometimes, so I would be glad if you subscribe to my channel as well. Let's try to reach 100,000 subscribers. I'll leave the link to the Razmac English channel in the description below the video and on the screen. Bye.